Hello YouTube, this is a video on how to sideload APK files. In this case, we're going to be sideloading TeamViewer Quick Support APK. First, what you're going to need to do is grab a copy of ADB Fire. Alright, you can Google this. This is compatible with Windows and Apple computers. In this case, I'll be running this on a MacBook Pro. So first, what you're going to need to do is set up your device, your Amazon Fire TV or box. In this case, I have a box, so I'll show you that later. First, you're going to need to set up the device. You're going to find the IP address of your device and input it right here. All right, this you don't need to touch. In this case, Fire TV Updates is on. I, to be honest, have tried both removing it and putting it on. It hasn't made a difference. Mine has not automatically updated. You're going to click Save. Next, what you're going to want to do is get that APK file. I will put the link in the description, a Mediafire link, to download it. Next, what you're going to want to do is choose that file. So you're going to click on Install APK. Choose the file you want, in this case, Quick Support Team Viewer. You're going to click Open. You're going to choose Yes. Okay. Next, you're going to see Disconnect Device Connected has now changed to a little ba result bar status bar. You're going to slowly see this increase, a little blue thing, and eventually we'll see a little box right here that says Installed. Okay. So we're just going to quickly let that load. It's a very small file, maybe about four or five megs, roughly about like that. In this case, as well as I should have mentioned earlier in the video, device connected, that means that your device, APK, uh, your Amazon Fire TV or stick is connected to ADB Fire. There you go. There's the install. You're going to click OK. So now what we're going to do is go up to the actual device, our Amazon Fire TV, and actually go ahead and load up the TeamViewer Quick Support. Once you've installed that TeamViewer APK in this case for this video, what you're going to want to do is go to your settings on your box. You're going to go to Applications. You're going to go to Manage Installed Applications. Run down all the way until you see Quick Support. You're going to go ahead and launch it. From there, you're going to get an ID. See that ID right there? What we're going to do now is we're going to input this ID into TeamViewer on back on our computers, our PC, Windows, or MacBook. So here we are once again at the TeamViewer application. In the description, I'll put a link to the website to download this program. It's compatible with, again, Windows and Apple computers. So that code that we got originally from the Amazon Fire TV box is the is this one. Yours would be different, obviously. So you're going to put it in here, and you're going to hit Connect to Partner. On the actual Apple, uh, the actual Amazon Fire TV, I'm sorry, you're going to get an actual say, suggesting saying, would you like to allow this to control your computer? You're going to say yes on the Amazon Fire box. Once you do that, you're actually going to go ahead and see this screen. Once you're here, then we're in the right place. What you're going to want to do is, again, like I said, you're going to go to File Transfer. On the left side, this is your computer, and this is your Fire Stick or Box. Now, I have a few already in here. All right, it's very simple. What you're going to do is click on the Home button or the location of where you actually installed all these add-ons. In this case, mine is in the Ernesto folder. I'm going to scroll down and go to my desktop, go to my Kodi add-ons, go to my add-ons, and here they are, all my add-ons. These are just a few. I have a lot more than this. So just to give you an example, let's say you wanted to go ahead and put Sports Devil. These are one of the files that you actually cannot put uh, on that Fire TV without, you know, transferring a file directly on it. There is actually no uh, repo you know, the HTTP option. So, once you select it, you're going to go to Send right here. And you're going to see it on this side of the screen now. There it is. So, once it's there, it's now on your device. 
what we're going to do now is go back to the Amazon Fire TV and I'll show you exactly where and how to load it up. All right, so here we go. We're back at the home screen of the Amazon Fire TV. So next thing you want to do is go ahead and load up Kodi. Just let you know here we're running the 15.0 newest version of Kodi. You're going to go to Systems, Add-ons. You're going to want to go to Install from Zip. You're going to go ahead and go to External Storage, as you can see right here. You're going to click OK. Next, you're going to go to Download Folder. And there you have it. The plugins that you've gone ahead and installed. In these cases, these are just a few that I was trying. In this case, we are going to go ahead and install Sports Devil. You're going to see the add-on come up right here. There it is, add-on enabled. Next, you're going to go back. Back one more time. You're going to go to your videos. You're going to go to video add-ons. And you're going to go ahead and search for that sports devil. So in this case, it's right here. There it is. You're going to go ahead and select it. And there you go. You successfully loaded up that plugin, sports devil plugin onto your Amazon Fire TV and box. Thank you again for watching. Please do subscribe. Take care.